that down. Let's move on to this, shall we? You know, whenever a movie is coming out, one of the things that we wait to see is what rating is the MPA going to give it? Is it going to be a PG, PG-13, an R-rated movie? And of course, up until this point, no Marvel Cinematic Universe film has ever been R-rated. But it's official. In case this is going to catch any of you by surprise, Deadpool and Wolverine have officially been given their rating, and it is, to the shock of the world, R. You got to be kidding me. I know, right? Stunned, complete stunned silence across the globe. And why did they give it the R? Well, this comes to us from CBR, who wrote the following. Officially, Deadpool and Wolverine is rated R for strong, bloody violence and language throughout, gore, and sexual references. While Deadpool, this is interesting, while Deadpool and Wolf, uh, while Deadpool and Deadpool 2 were both R-rated, Deadpool and Wolverine is the first film to be given the rating for gore, suggesting this new film will be much bloodier than the others. The rating comes in ahead of the movie's release in theaters in July. Hmm. Okay. So, I mean, obviously, like facetiousness aside we all knew they they announced it that this was gonna be rated r in case you had any doubts the trailers kind of put the, those doubts to rest easy the they broke the f-bomb limit rule just in the trailers so <laughs> we knew the r rating was coming i am fascinated by two things one has to do with deadpool and wolverine itself and that is what cbr pointed out this is the first time like look deadpool and deadpool 2 are both pretty bloody violent. Like they're they're pretty violent. And CBR goes on to point out like this is the first time they've been given a Deadpool movie's been given the gore tag on it as a caution to parents. It's gore. Cuz remember, the United States, for those of you who don't know, an R rating does not mean kids can't go to the movies. They can. As long as they've got one buddy who's a little bit older than them and is 18, as long as they go with one person who's 18 years of age or older, kids can come into the movie. So they got to put these things up there to warnings to parents. Hey, just so you know, uh, strong, bloody violence, language throughout, of course, sexual references, and gore. So my question is just how freaking bloody is this movie going to get? Okay, so that's the first thing that fascinates me. The second thing that fascinates me, now that it's official and it's out there, it's, it's, it's R-rated, it's official, all kinds of stuff, it does make me wonder on a bigger scale about how is this going to influence the future of the MCU? Because remember, for a long time, Kevin Feige said, we are not going to do R-rated films, but he did say with the one exception of Deadpool, right? Mm -hmm. Deadpool will be the one exception. But that was a couple of years ago that Kevin Feige said that. And since then, they have implied a number of things maybe being rated R and going gore. So I wonder if this kind of marks maybe an overall change of direction. I mean, obviously, I think most MCU stuff is going to remain PG-13. I think an, uh, another MCU movie that Deadpool goes and appears in will still be a PG-13 film. But it, it's kind of signaling to me, I think, that we're going to see them play around a little bit with let's say edgier stuff. Yeah. I don't think you're going to see that in Avengers. No, not at all, but they're definitely. And, and I think um, surprisingly, I would think it would be more on the cinematic side, but I really think they're going to, they're going to edge into the Disney plus stuff because we've already seen it with yeah. echo yep. and they've already said that. Although uh, I wouldn't say echo was no, R. No, you know I, I mean? know, but still, but yeah. they're dipping their toe, right? Yeah. And and I think uh, this uh, Daredevil is going to be a little more leaning towards R. Yeah. So I think I think that's how they're they're going to get away with this, you know. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see which way they go. Again, just how bloody and gory and violent is this movie going to be? <laughs> I mean, because they had like, look, Deadpool is doing some very unholy things to some people. Like he's canceling the subscription to Life on a lot of people just in the trailer. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, just how gory and bloody are we going to see Wolverine literally ripping out pe people's intestines? Hey, listen, are we going to see the true feral Wolverine come out in this one? We got tastes of that 
in Logan. Mm -hmm. So it's going to be interesting to see. We want to thank a sponsor of today's video, Mint Mobile. My favorite spring cleaning takeaway is the post clean clarity you get. Wow. How have I been living like this? It's kind of like when you find out that you've been paying a fortune for wireless when Mint Mobile has phone plans for just 15 bucks a month when you purchase a three month plan. My last mobile service provider was quite good, but ever since I switched to Mint Mobile, I've enjoyed even better coverage, better phone clarity, and I'm paying less than a third of what I paid to my old provider. Say goodbye to your overpriced wireless plans, jaw dropping monthly bills and unexpected overages. All plans come with high speed data and unlimited talk and text delivered on the nation's largest 5G network. Use your own phone with any Mint Mobile plan and bring your phone number along with all of your existing contacts. To get this new customer offer and your new three month unlimited wireless plan for just 15 bucks a month, go to mintmobile.com slash campia. That's mintmobile.com slash campia. Cut your wireless bills to 15 bucks a month at mintmobile.com slash campia. $45 upfront payment required equivalent to $15 a month. New customers on first three month plan only. Speed slower above 40 gigabytes on unlimited plan. Additional taxes, fees, and restrictions may apply. See Mint Mobile for details. Anyway, guys, question is for you. What do you think about this? It's now official to nobody's surprise. It's rated R, but it's warning us that this could be the most violent and gory with the gore tag in there as well. Just how violent do you think this thing can get? How much do you think Marvel might be willing to play around in the R-rated sandbox, you know, now coming out of Deadpool and Wolverine? Whatever you guys think, jump down into the conversation below and let us know your thoughts. Hey guys, thanks so much for watching this video. Make sure you like the video, leave a comment and subscribe to our channel. And don't forget, we have a daily podcast called the John Campia Show Podcast available on Apple Podcasts, Spotify, or your favorite podcasting app of choice. Go and subscribe to it today so it'll be there when you need it.